What's up, guys? Welcome back to Batman Arkham Asylum. This is part five, and I hope you enjoyed the last part. Last time we went through the mansion, encountered Scarecrow again, and Victor Zaz again. Now we track down Harley Quinn. No, actually, uh, Quincy Sharp's DNA here. He got bonked in the head. And now we found him, and we have the codes to access areas throughout the asylum. And I can do stuff like this. You stay here. Lock this gate when I leave. Oh, good idea. Can't have someone of my stature falling back into their hands, now can we? Now we gotta go find Harley. Oh yeah, Joker let all the actually insane inmates out, like this guy. Spear on strats. Hello. You know, Bats, I always thought there was a spark between us. I've never seen it. I accept that challenge. Why don't you just go get a gun and shoot it? That wouldn't be too nice. I don't feel like getting shot. Was that as easy as it looked? Huh. Well, it won't be so easy trying to catch me. Mwah. Bet on it. I bet a hundred dollars. Taped patient evaluation five. Victor is not responding well to treatment. Victor, yesterday we spoke about the people you killed. Ah, the zombies. They are all people, Victor. They are zombies. Continuously shuffling through the daily grind, waiting for someone to liberate them. You mean, kill them. The police report states that you've murdered, or liberated, if you like, 20 young women in the last three months. Each had her throat slit and was left posed. They were all lucky to be chosen to receive my... I doubt they would agree with you. Really? How about you, Miss Cassidy? As you take the elevator to your apartment each night, open the six locks to apartment 433, remember you forgot to buy your cat food. Again? How do you know as where you I... sit down on your favorite red chair, cat on lap, just waiting for something to happen. I can make it happen. Yeah, that's what Zaz does. When he kills people, he poses them. Which is really weird. Look who's finally turned up, the Dark Knight himself. How's it hanging, Babs? No, they're my toys and my toys only. Turn up the pressure. Two minutes and 
I argued with the latest group of young, eager doctors. They bored me with theories and ideas, proving that they had no theories on how to cure these animals. Only one shared my vision. I offered her the chance to explore her dreams. She accepted. We'll make a good team. gonna die in there you're safe now you going after that crazy witch I saw her heading out of the door as we got out of the room she won't get away I'll stop her and then her boyfriend good listen I'll go try and get the ventilation system working if you find her don't go easy on her for me yeah for you I'm trying to see if I can get the perfect angle on this. What was that thing he used? No idea. He saved our lives. That's all I need to know. But as you can see, Batman has grown a bit of facial hair. That's a little secret in the game. As the game progresses and goes on, Batman grows facial hair. There, 
we go. And here is another interview tape. Victor has been more subdued recently. Response to medication has been poor. Hello, Victor. Is there anything you'd like to talk about today? Victor! This is going nowhere. Guard! Get him out of here! You heard the doctor. Get out. Didn't you hear me? He's got a I messed up my combo. Oh man, I hit him so hard he went in the sky. Hit me in midair, you can't do that, that's cheating. I mean, there is a silver medal, Joker. You at least give her that. Smiles next to certain names. You're the detective, you tell me. So I'm calibrating the scanner to only show prints that have traces of chlorophyll. Okay, listen. Be careful. I rerouted a Wayne Tech satellite to show thermal scans of the island. The gardens are showing up hot. 
Something bad is happening there. Victor has been in isolation since the attack on the guard last week. As I wait for him to be brought up to me, I have had time to review his notes. I am increasingly worried. He cannot be cured. He has no empathy for his victims. Deep down, I believe he views all of us as potential victims. Doc, are you okay? What's happening? Meet Zaz. He broke out of isolation. He's gone. Oh, God! Don't worry, Doc. You're the safest place. He's definitely left the island. Of course. But someone needs to alert the authorities. He'll need to kill again. Do you understand me? Needs to. Oh, no. He's gone after Dr. Cassidy. The Gotham police dragged a new patient to the island. They said he was responsible for the disappearance of hundreds of the city's vagrants. As I looked at his disgusting body, all scales and teeth, my mind ran free, dreaming of delicious punishments to break this monster. Doctors gathered around, poking it, examining, but only I knew what would cure him, once and for all. None of that Joker has the cure and some Titan. And from the words of Dr. Young, he has a whole lot of it. And we cannot let him use it. Now, as you can see, the crazes are out in the islands now. Joker, do you hear me? Wait, how 
did you get access to a phone? Oh, yes. Sorry, Doc. Had to split. I hate small, confined spaces. Reminds me of my childhood. Another lie? Who knows? I certainly don't, but let's not get distracted with details. So, anyway, I want my monsters. I sent you back the money. I don't want it. Do I look like I care about money? <laughs> I just want my monsters, Doc. And if you don't give them to me, well then, it won't be funny. Now we're at the gardens. I should pick up Harley Quinn's trail. I can't waste any time in finding the Titan production plant. The beast was too strong. His animal savagery nearly cost me my life. I took my frustrations out on a lone patient. His case notes suggested he was a paranoid schizophrenic. His pleas, as I beat him to death, suggested much more. His confessions were illuminating. My path was clear. Yeah. As it goes on, Amadeus slowly becomes insane, just like his patients. I'm impressed. That was one of the more taxing ones. Patient interview. Pamela Lillian Isley, November 12th. 11.33 a.m. Good morning, Pamela. How are you today? Fine. Today is a special day. What do you mean? This is the anniversary of my new life. When I found my true self. My destiny. Are you referring to the event with Dr. Woodrow? Yes. What else? Of course, at the time, I thought Jason had poisoned me. But in retrospect, he did me a huge favor. And why do you believe what he did has helped you? He showed me the bigger world. A world I should protect. Of course, my first offer was rejected. Offer? You tried to kill everyone in Gotham. Well, sometimes you need to prove back hard in order to make something flourish. <coughs> what the hell was that thing? No idea. Joker's cooking something up there. Yeah! It don't feel good. <laughs> God, messing with people's bodies. He tried that stuff on me, and I quit. Me too. This place is creepy enough without those monsters running loose. <laughs> Immediately down. Now for another predator section. He doesn't stand a chance. It's not a chance.
You go down too. Really? He beat you all again. What does it take? An army of monsters? I believe, because these guys suck at their job. Oh, there's his mom and dad. Alright, let's get this. Patient interview, Pamela Lillian Isley, November 14th, 10.21 a.m. Hello, Pamela. Today I'd like to go back to something you said in our last conversation. Ask me anything you like. You said your first offer to help Gotham was rejected. How can you possibly believe that? Well, what do you mean? You released thousands of poisonous spores into Gotham, killed hundreds of people. How does that help anybody? I'm not interested in bodies, Doctor. Horrible, fleshy sacks walking around destroying my poor babies with their greed and arrogance. But aren't you one of those fleshy sacks? You're a... were a doctor, too. How can you turn your back on us? Quite easily, if it happens. But not you, Stephen. You're different. I feel we have a connection. Really? You do? Of course. Don't fall for it. My boy is down bad and he's catching a case for the ivy. Stop, please. I'm not Let me get this guy real quick. Just take that guy up. I didn't want to do that. That's what you get for shocking me. doing in here the ones that weren't hitting me went over there and started doing something to the power controls I have no idea what they were doing Pamela I got you what you asked for do you like it oh yes Stephen I love it such a beautiful flower do you mind if I keep it oh no Pamela I can't leave it it's against all the rules I'll just bring it and show it to you when I visit but it's me Stephen I get so lonely on my own you wouldn't want me to be lonely, would you? No, of course not. You keep it. Just don't let anyone see. Really, no one. You can trust me, Stephen. Thank you. Now give me a kiss. Uh, I can't. People will see you. No one's watching. What's wrong with you? Don't you love me? Call me Ivy. Of course I love you. Looks like Poison Ivy is the queen of gaslighting, isn't it? Well, aren't you the persistent one? That's always one step ahead. It won't be long before I have an army of titan monsters at my fingertips. Oh, just imagine me being carried through the streets, stepping over the corpses of all those innocent citizens. It's going to be glorious, so oh, I can't wait. <laughs> you need to stop this now, before it goes too far. <laughs> At this rate, you'll never catch me. <laughs> oh, good thing I got to wait through this mess. Like that? Or are you talking about this mess? Probably this. Well, in any real case, you could slip through that little corner right there. But we gotta do the hard way. Every day I found the patience, 
more distracting. Their insane mutterings and constant twitching disgusted me. There was only one way to cure this evil. Only one way to purify the city and ensure its future. I needed to prepare myself. I needed to be ready. Oh, screw you. Are you okay? Do I look okay? They was gonna kill me. We were in the aviary hiding out, and they came in with Joker shooting up the place and loaded us into cages. Are they still in there? No, man. No one's come out since. You've got to help them! Stay here. Alright, that'll be all for today. That was part 5 of Batman Arkham Asylum. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.